Frederick. There you are. Let me introduce you to Miss Anne Elliot. Miss Elliot, my brother, Captain Frederick Wentworth. Captain Wentworth and I met briefly yesterday. Oh, Frederick, you might have told me. This must be very bad for you, Miss Elliot, to come to your home and find us here. No, not at all, Admiral. I'm happy to know that the house is in such worthy and careful hands. <laughs> And what news, Frederick, of dear Captain Harville? He's settled for now at Lyme with our good friend James Bennick, who's awaiting a new command. How exciting. Of course. I remember Captain Bennick. He's engaged to Harville's sister. I'm sorry to have to tell you that she died last summer while Bennick was out of the Cape. Oh, no. How dreadful. Yes. Five years they waited for a fortune to satisfy her family. Now he has it, of course, but too late. Much too late. But then I've never thought that a man on active service should even contemplate marriage. Uh, have you indeed? A frigate at wartime is no place for a woman, and the long separations are a sore trial to both parties. Oh, how true. There is nothing so bad as a separation. <laughs> as I know to my cost, for Mr. Musgrove always attends the Assizes, and I'm so glad when he's safe home again. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm paid off on a shore, Sophie, you'll be delighted to hear that I am at last resolved to settle down. Indeed, Frederick, I am delighted to hear it. Pray, do you have anyone in mind? No, no, I'm quite ready to make a foolish match with any woman between 15 and 30. <laughs> <laughs> a little beauty, a few smiles, and a compliment to the Navy, and I shall be lost. <laughs> oh, come, Frederick. After all, what right is a humble sailor to expect any better? But if I am to speak in earnest, what I desire above all in a wife is firmness of character. A woman who knows her own mind. I cannot abide timidity or feebleness of purpose. A weak spirit which is always open to persuasion, first one way and then the other, can never be relied upon. Well, we must see what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, Anne, will you? <laughs> Something jolly. Oh, yes. 